jungle friends. Mr. War here at your service with another math video. Yes, we're on topic B, fractions as division. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, whoops. I thought I have a magic pen. Major mistake there, Mr. War. Oh no. Get the eraser quick. It's leaking all over the place. Okay, here we go. Mega eraser. Well, welcome to another math video, my friends. And what are we doing today? Well, it looks like it was just the objective, our, basically our learning target, says the students will be able to interpret a fraction as division. Hmm, interpret to bring meaning. So we're going to take a fraction and we're going to be looking at that and we're going to be interpreting a fraction as division. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started and we'll get on the next page here. So let's take a look here. Let's start in this regard. Let's think of a problem as we interpret a fraction as division. Let's go ahead and let's just say, let's take 2 divided by 2. Now, most of you probably know the answer. We could go ahead and put the answer there, 1. We know that 2 divided by 2 equals 1, just as 2 halves, right? 2 divided by 2 equals 1. We learned that because we were adding and subtracting uh, fractions, and we needed to sometimes make a whole creating or generating uh, or representing that whole as a fraction much like the 2 over 2. Let's say, for example, let's just imagine, okay? Let's just imagine these are crackers. Yes, okay? So I have two crackers here. Animal crackers, if you wish. We can pretend they see we have an animal here. Ooh, I lost him. Where'd he go? Here he is. Come back. Okay, there's your animal cracker right there. <laughs> okay? So there you go. Animal cracker. Mmm, yummy camel. All right. So basically, we're going to have these two crackers, and we're going to share these two crackers equally between two people. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pen here and first just kind of show that these here we have is we have two crackers with the two of these together. What we want to do is we want to share these two crackers equally with two people. If we come over here, you can say that though if we did do that, then we would basically be saying these are the same crackers, that each person would get a cracker. Here's one cracker for one person. Here's another cracker for another person. Therefore, the answer would be 1, right? Would equal 1, much like a problem. I know, it's so basic, all right? But let's go ahead and take this to the next level. Now let's imagine that we only have one cracker, one cracker. So here's my one, oops, <laughs> yeah. Sure, Mr. War, I'm sure you tried that. Okay, so here's our one cracker, green cracker. Uh, this one cracker, now we're going to try to share this one cracker with two people. Hmm, interesting. Interesting concept there, Mr. Wara. Okay, one cracker. Well, now we're going to have to do something different. Well, with just one cracker, you guys know we're going to have to split that cracker in half. And in half we have done. So now we've basically taken that one cracker. He hardly looks like a half, does he? And could I make him like a half? I probably could. Eh, it looks like about a half. And then we're just going to make a copy of him. So here we have that one cracker now. Okay, he's been split. It's not a full cracker anymore. It's a half of a cracker. Here's one half, and here's the other half. So now we know that this is a half of a cracker, and this is a half of a cracker. Well, this is what our problem was. We were taking one cracker, and we were trying to divide it by two to give it to, to two people. We wanted them to get the equal amount. We end up with one divided by two, which is equal to one half. Seems pretty basic, doesn't it? But this is what we're doing. This was our learning target, to interpret a fraction as division. And you can see how we've actually interpreted this fraction here, 1 over 2, as, as division. So obviously, each person is going to get a half a cracker. Two halves, if you will, divided by, because you have these two halves, divided by two people is going to equal one half. Each are going to get half. Let's try this again. So let's go ahead and do the same thing, but let's, let's take that one cracker now, that one cracker, and let's go ahead and divide that one cracker by three people. Oh my goodness, three people and one little cracker? Now you can see that, well, if we have that one cracker, we're dividing by three. It looks like we're making thirds here, aren't we? Very interesting. Yes, we are. And I'm going to make another copy of this one here. But what I need to do is somehow make this into thirds. So now you can see I basically have my third. Now each person is going to get part of that cracker because this is one person here is going to get that much. Another person is going to get this much. And that's our problem. We have one cracker divided by three people. And you can see 
we're interpreting that fraction now as division. That's exactly what we've done. It seems pretty, pretty easy, doesn't it? Now we're going to do something a little bit different here. Let's go ahead and let's take three crackers. Disappear. Voila. See you later. So I'm going to pull one, two, three crackers. We're going to take three crackers, and now we're going to share them equally, okay, with two people. Hmm, okay. Three crackers. Got my three. So far, I hope you're with me. We're going to divide this by two. Well, it's kind of a problem, isn't it? You know, I mean, we have our three, there's three squares that are representing three crackers. Um, we need to have like two circles, right? Because we're going to re represent, there's a portion of that amount that's going to go to each person and we're going to have two people. What I could do by just looking at this is I'm, I could take one whole cracker here and I'm just going to bring him down here and that could be for one person. That's that cracker. And then I could take another cracker See, and that would be for that person, and that's two people right there. But I have this other cracker. Oh, I could probably just come over here and go, hmm, since it's just two people, come on down. I could do this. I could go right down a halfway part. See? And that way, each one would, would, each would get half, if you know what I mean. Each would get half. And I can actually take uh, one of these, and then what I'm going to do is let's, I want to get half. All right, and then we put that half. So this is going to represent this half for that one person. Now I can go ahead and do my circle. There's one person, and here's the other person. So we've taken two. So this problem says three crackers divided by two people is going to equal, well, there's another way to write this, three crackers over two. That's taking our basically a fraction and interpreting it as division, which we've done, and then we end up with one and a half one and a half crackers for each person, okay? Or if you will, if you want to divide all of this, this is another way of looking at the problem. We actually have one, two, three, four, five, six halves. Let's learn how to spell here, six halves, here we go. And we're gonna divide that by two people, so that's going to equal three halves. Isn't that great? Yes, and you know what, and that's it, my friends, to this video, pretty simple, huh? Live long and prosper.